Hi folks, this is Merle Kirkup from Templeton Rye. You know, since the 1920s, Templeton Rye has been known as the smoothest rye whiskey you ever tasted. That is, if a fellow was clever enough to get some in the first place. Everybody called it the good stuff, but it sprang out of some pretty bad times. Back then, there just wasn't any work. And the government said folks couldn't even have a drink anymore. So to get by, Dad and some other farmers started cooking rye whiskey. Pretty soon, everyone was clamoring for a jug of the good stuff. As a signal for folks that a batch was ready, he'd tie our white horse babe out in the front yard. One fella got a whole load hijacked and immediately went out and bought a new Ford. They had just come out with their V8 and he never got caught again. Of course, when the Templin folks hooked up with their distribution partner, nobody even dreamed of tangling with them. That fella's name was Al Capone. Capone would bootleg hundreds of barrels to speakeasies in New York, Chicago, and as far west as San Francisco. Legend has it, he even had a case smuggled into Alcatraz. But nobody wanted to get their hands on Templin Rye more than the feds. Folks found many great hiding spots for Templin Rye, including post holes, hay miles, and even hollowed out monument in the Templin Cemetery. They say Dad was one of the few men who could carry two 100-pound sacks of grain a half a mile. That was as far as you could get from the road and out of sight of the revenueers. After Prohibition, Dad continued to cook Templin rye for friends and family. Eventually, he passed the recipe on to me. After all these years, we continued to follow that recipe and once again make the good stuff in small batches and age it in charred oak barrels. And according to the judges at the Los Angeles International Wine and Spirits Competition, it was the best whiskey in the whole darn show. The Whiskey Bible even declared Templin Rye to be Rye Whiskey of the Year, scoring it a 93 out of 100. Of course, a recipe this good takes a little longer to make and doesn't exactly follow the rules of economics. But the thing about rules is, We've never been real good at following them. Well, thanks for listening. We hope you'll share some Templin Rye with your friends. Inconspicuously, of course. I hope you got that. <laughs>